Day 1 Rakyat Speaker Johari Abdul said he will decide within 21 days if the four Gabungan Rakyat Sabah MPs should vacate their seats. This is following their exodus from the Perikatan National Coalition. Johari confirmed that he received an official letter from Bersatu Vice President Ronald Kiandi on December 27th. Ronald requested the Speaker to notify the Election Commission that the four parliamentary seats will be vacated. Speaking to Malaysia Kini, Johari said under Article 49A Bracket 3, the Speaker will decide whether these seats will be vacated. Johari said he needs to scrutinize the matter and hopes the issue will be resolved as soon as possible. Immediately after the election, GRS initially pledged allegiance to Muhyiddin Yassin to serve as Prime Minister, but their support wavered just five days later after Anwar Ibrahim secured the top job. On December 10, a group of 15 GRS Assembly persons and four MPs publicly declared that they were exiting Bersatu. The four MPs are Armizan Ali, Khairul Firdaus Akbar Khan, Jonathan Yassin and Madbali Musa. This led to claims that the four newly elected MPs have triggered the anti-hopping laws. GRS was formally registered on March 11. Although it is known publicly as a coalition of five parties, in the eyes of the Registrar of Societies and the EC, it is a normal political party. GRS fielded 12 candidates in GE15, of which six were successful.